This is Gordon Pepper, and I'm here with former two-time Northeast Cruiserweight champion, Sean Knight Faison. Sean Knight, pleasure to have you here. Yeah, definitely happy to be here. Voice of Choice is here, and it's playoff season. I'm ready it for is it. playoff time. We're going to go through every single first and maybe second round matchup, and we're going to start geographically from the North. Atlanta Conference, here we go. Number one overall seed, Class Axe, Metro North, Gold Con Squad. They will get the winner of the Fury or Area 51-8. And mm -hmm. I know that you are familiar with Area 58. Oh yeah, definitely familiar with them. Tough team, two tough teams, and it should be should be very interesting. Let's see what's gonna happen. Gabriel Skill squad. If they win, it's gonna be rematched with Class X. They're both in the Metro. In the other side of Quadrant One, pound for pound, coming out of New England South, they're gonna go up against either Mill City Mayhem, uh, also um, uh, New England North. Actually, they're gonna be going up against Royal Flush. And they got to the finals last year. They were your finalists. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They lost to Murder, Inc. They did. Have an opportunity to maybe re rewrite that? P possibly. Now, out of this quadrant right here, I'd love to see Class X versus Royal Flush. I mean, no offense to anybody else, but these are matchups I'd like to see. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, first time matchups, you never know what's going to happen. Class X, never been to the dance. Royal Flush, they've been to the dance. Let's see what they could do. Well, Class X has been to the dance, but not in the Atlantic. Anyway, moving on, Bolarama Express. Winners of the New England South will go up against either the Franchise or Project Mayhem. Mm. Both squads very talented. T talk to me about Franchise since I know you're familiar with them. Franchise, hey, shout out to Miguel Cobo, former world champion. Uh, looking to right there, get, get back in the spotlight, you know, see if the Shark can get some water and maybe um, bite some people up real quick. That's true. They're coming out of the BQE. Meanwhile, the number one seed or the winner out of the Brooklyn Queens Wrecking Crew, they go up against either Killers Grips or Suicide Squad. Squad. Oh, wait, that's your t old team, wasn't it? Yes, yes, yes. Shout out to Suicide Squad. Always going to love the squad. Hopefully they can make some moves. All right. We'll see. Quadrant three coming up. Identity Crisis. Uh, they're coming out of New England North. They're going up against either the Metro's Apocalypse or also from the Metro City Morgue. City Morgue, yeah, um, another another Metro North team, looking to make some moves out there. Shout out to Dwayne Adams, you know Dwayne Adams Jr. Mm -hmm. Throws the ball great. Cannot sleep on City Morgue. They're they're handy. My personally think their handicap squads are probably the best in that quadrant. Moving on, New England South from New England Heat, one of the two teams that get a first round by for having the most amount of points as a wild card. They'll face mm -hmm. either the Lane Crashers or Auburn Maulers. All right. I know you know Lane Crashers. Very familiar with Lane Crashers, Fred Wande. We're going to be talking a lot of trash, maybe try to get in some people's <laughs> head. It's going to be loud. You know, we're going to see what's going to happen. Very good with that. Fourth quadrant, Long Island Legends out of uh, the Zeke, Long Island District, going up against either Lights Out or another team that made it to Battle Bowl last year, Mop Nation Militia with Joy Nauru. Mm, Mop Nation Militia. Heard a lot of things about him. Just talking to Showtime. He knows, he knows who they are. So that's, that's going to be a fight. Uh, last section in the Atlantic, Secret Invasion. Uh, they're going to be going up against either Open Bullers or a very, very dangerous the hit squad. They're down there as the number 22 seed. I think that's a little bit too low. What do you think? Let me tell you something. It's them low seeds you got to watch out for, and they've been here before. Shout out to the original X-Men. There's some old school or some OGs that's there. They're going to make some moves. You can see Brian Paul up there. You can see Alex Bell. BPC, Alex Prell, former uh, former uh, heavyweight champion. Mm -hmm. right out there. So now we go a little bit south. We go to the Northeast Conference. Mm. Coming up, that would be Jersey. And so let's start. Number one seed overall in Jersey and PA, I should say, because they're from the PA South. Secret Society, also been the Battle Bowl last year. They get either the South Jersey Storm or, uh-oh, Garden Foundation. DGF. Legendary crew. Two titles. Two titles. <laughs> Nothing to mess with. Them versus Secret Society round two. Wow. But again, cannot overlook anybody in the playoffs. If they're looking ahead to Secret Society and they're not looking ahead to South Jersey Storm, problems. Uh, other, or other grouping in that first quadrant. Nation of Domination going mm. up against either the Tom's River Rats or Top Guns. Top Guns. South Fab, South Bezo. Hey, Top Guns, they're going to try, they're gonna try to drop some bombs, some missiles maybe. Tom's River at second place in New Jersey Shore. They were in first, but they lost it at the last tour stop to the number four seed, Team Matrix. Wow. They're going up against either Hills Have Eyes, a new team, or Dysfunctional Bowlers. That is a veteran team, and you know all about the Cruiserweight title because you've taken it from and had it lost to or Uber and Taria. Yes, yes, man. They, they collect a lot of hardware, and I think they're looking to collect the championship around this time. 
They could be a dark horse in this. Do not underestimate them. But also in that same quadrant, your defending champions, Murder, Inc., over from the very, very arduous New Jersey Northwest. They're going to get either AC Express or Southampton Samurai. AC Express won, New Jersey, won the New Jersey South last season. All right, shout out to my family, Mia Williams, right there, AC Express representing Murder, Inc., defending champs. Mia Williams, a multiple former v Northeast Vixens champion. Dangerous. That's going to be very dangerous. Uh, now, going over, number two seed, the Arsenal, going up against Total Mayhem. If they see them, that's a rematch. Or they may want to see him because if they don't see them, they're seeing exit wounds. Exit. What can you say about exit? Got former world champions. What else? Uh, Brawl for All. They made it to the finals of Brawl for All. Brawl for All. The, the, the first one. And they lost to Outrage. We'll be getting to them momentarily. Moving on, the team that did win New Jersey South this year, I'm sorry, before we get to them, mm. Usual Suspects, who won the PA, PA's, actually, I'm sorry, they did not win their wild card in the PA South. They're going up against Voodoo or Rival Alliance. Okay. That's, they have a rival, rival alliance with each other. They'll be seeing each other possibly. Again, cannot overlook Voodoo, but Usual Suspects Rival Alliance, that could be match number three between both of them this year. You know, maybe some rivalries there that's going to get settled on the lanes. You know, hopefully, maybe that might do a little, little, little Voodoo tricks. <laughs> little Voodoo know. tricks. Uh, last question in the Northeast. Number three seed, Bulletproof, winners of the New Jersey South. They're going up against either the Replacements or Hell Yeah. That is a new team coming out of PA North. Oh, Hell Yeah? Oh, Hell, hell Yeah. Hell Yeah. So I number of people from there, from the Philadelphia Horsemen. Keep in mind, Philly Horsemen last year pulled off a major upset, and they knocked off All In, who once again won the PA North. They are your number six seed. They're going up against International Flavors or Powerhouse. Now, wow. now this quadrant for me is very wide open. Bulletproof has got the most experience. True. None of them have been to a battle ball. Mm, so we, we're going to, yeah, somebody's going to be hungry. We're going to get a new team out of that. That's going to be fun. Mm -hmm. Shout out to All In. Gotta love Dansbury. Down Jonathan Dansbury squad. My boy Troy. They repeated on the PA North. Let's see if they can do better than what they did last year. We won't discuss what they did last year. Mm, okay. However, let's discuss All American Conference. This is the DMV. Mm. We're gonna start with Apex Predators versus the MWO Wolfpack. They're the eight and nine seed. Winner of them gets Outrage. Outrage, outrage. Race Marsh, you know, no stranger to winning. Outrage, no no stranger to winning. Aren't they back to back? Uh, they actually technically they won two UBA titles and a brawl for all mm. uh, in there. So they're they're looking they're looking now. I would love to see Ray Smarsh versus Money Mills or the Pumpkinhead over at NWO Wolfpack. Little uh, heavyweight versus heavyweight action. That's right. Uh, they could also see because that's in their quadrant. Kryptonite who knocked them out last year. They're playing high powered in the first round. Whoever wins that will go up against Magna Carta. And no offense to anybody, I could see Kryptonite maybe doing some damage in this district, what, in this playoff district. What do you think? I mean, you know, if they're feeling super Kryptonite, I could always stop that. You already know? <laughs> <laughs> well, they already stopped Outreach one year. Can they do it again? Of course, they've got to get to them. That is the question. Yep. Uh, next matchup, Hot Pockets versus Mutiny, both of them having very successful seasons. Uh, the winner of them, go, though, goes up against a team that's had a fantastic one. SBC, Straight Business Cartel, mm. winners of the DMV South. Hey, all about the business. Let's see what the cartel is going to tell everybody. Cartel, they're, they're a powerhouse. Uh, the team that we took the New Jersey, I'm sorry, the DMV South from, DC Mafia. They're mm. playing the Stoners. Winner of them gets impact. That is a team that went to Battle Bowl last year. Mm. See, once you go to Battle Bowl, you want to get back, so they want to get back on track. They want to they want to get back to where they feel they should be and a little further. SB, uh, SBC versus Impact. If we see that matchup when it gets a battle bowl, that is going to be crazy. It's going to be loud. All right. Finally, fourth conference, the Southeast, and we're going to start with the number one seed. And they were the they would have been if you had it this way last year. They would have been your number one seed, High Octane, mm. and they're going against. Either high caliber or outcast. High caliber, outcast. Love the names. I'm an outcast fan, so hopefully they make <laughs> some good music. Maybe drop some albums on their opponents. You know what I'm saying? Well, I was gonna say high octane right now. They have all the hits. They won the Sand Hills, 
And they're going to be going up against a team that didn't win their district but got one of the wild cards, C-Swag. And they will get the winner of Menace to Society or Motion to Strike. Now, Menace to Society almost won the Queen City. They were one tour step away from that. They have the current Southeast Heavyweight Champion, Nick Christie. Mm. Shout out to Nick Christie. Uh, didn't he just sex successfully um, defend his title too? He did. He successfully defended against uh, Nick Senzaprano mm. in one more title match, and we're going to see him going after the World Heavyweight shot over at Battle Bowl. Mm. So that's going to be fun. See Swag Brad Kurth. He's always dangerous. Do not overlook them. They can make a run. They've made a run at a brawl two years ago. See Swag make noise, and they're nothing to play with. They are not. New team coming out of the inner city, the Beach Brawlers, Brian Limp Squad, first year... Uh, and they take the inter intercoastal. Hmm. They're going up against either the striking viker, striking vipers, or the Carolina gatekeepers. Watch out for those vipers. The vipers strike. They strike quick. They strike fast. Venomous. Well, as Venom is another team which we will not be talking about. <laughs> so, sorry, not sorry. Uh, on the other side of that bracket. Uh, the, the team that did take the Queen City away from Menace Society, G Town, Georgetown Heavy Hitters. They'll be going up against either Total Chaos or High Voltage. Yeah, way to steal the division in, I believe you said, the last match. Yeah, last match, last tour stop. Last tour they, stop. They had to win by a lot. I believe they won 36 to 4. That was enough to jump Menace, and that's enough to take the spot. Mm, not like this. Yeah, well, how, how angry is Menace's society going to be? Mm. They're going to be a very angry squad. Going over to the other half of the Southeast Conference. NWO, your new Triad District Champions. I would sing a little theme, but we would get sued for that by the, um, by, yeah. Anyway, they would go up against either Conspiracy Theory or Sub-Zero. All three of those teams, by the way, in the Triad District, it's mm. a Triad party. Oh, for real, a uh, three-way dance. Three-way dance. Only one Triad team's going to come out of that. That's right. So, so we shall see. Conspiracy Theory actually migrated there. This is the first time that they have. Sub-Zero has been there before. They've gotten to the playoffs on the brawls before. Three teams, they are loaded. That's going to be fun. Uh, what else could be fun? We can see Sandhills versus Sandhills. If Synergy gets past the mob, they will be going up against B-Squad. Uh, B-Squad. So I'm not sure. How many years so far for them? They've a little tenure in there? Uh, yeah, a little, I, I want to say around the tenure mark. Keep in mind, Synergy and B-Squad uh, were two teams that were created from each other. Synergy has won a UBA World title before. Mm. So that's going to be cool. Finally, final district. The, and you're going to get, and a number of people think that they're seated very low, and they're only number three, Hitmen. Kevin Decker's squad had an undefeated regular season last year. Coming back into it this year, they're getting either the Immortals or the Outsiders. Do either of them have a shot of getting past Hitmen? Well, Hitmen, they're trying to win everything. They are. Hitmen win everything, quote, unquote. We'll see if they do that again. Uh, last grouping, and you have Ray Gillespie's squad, Complete Anarchy, going up against either the Risen or Dillagaff. And Dillagaff can make a run here. They are led by former world champion Dennis Kilo. Well, I don't think it looks like they're really going to give... Oh, sorry. Dillagaff. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. Yeah. Very nice. So uh, that's it. We're done. Any mm -hmm. thoughts on the playoffs besides, wow, look at all these crazy matches? Playoffs, man. It's playoffs. All I know is I'm ready. Are you ready? Well, we are ready because we gave you 84 teams in less than 15 minutes. Be ready. We'll see you in a couple weeks. UBA all day. Yep. You already know. You do.